So let me tell you a quick story. I know this guy that goes to the gym every morning around the same time that I go, but for the sake of the story, let's call this man Dave. Dave, Dave's easily anywhere from 350 to 400 pounds. Needless to say, he's obese, but he goes to the gym all the time. And at least when I see him, I see him working hard. And when he leaves, he's almost always drenched in sweat. Yet he's been doing this for over a year and he still looks the same. And it looks like he weighs the same. And just like Dave, there's probably millions of dudes that are either crazy skinny or maybe fat and are actually trying and trying every single day, but they're never seeing results. Today, I'm going to give you the six biggest reasons why you're still going to the gym, but you're not seeing any gains. If that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. Number one, you're wasting time on your phone. When you're working out, you want to push your muscles every single time you're in the gym, whether that's from more reps or from adding more weight. Essentially, you want to exhaust your muscles. However, if you're taking these huge five to 10 minute breaks in between each set, you're essentially letting your muscles go on break, go on vacation, eat a cheat meal, maybe even take a nap before you even hit them with another set. Rendering your workout useless, not to mention it's also disrespectful to everybody else that's waiting on your machine. Number two, you're not listening to music or maybe an ebook or, or, or something motivational. The point is you want to listen to something that gets you motivated and gets you pumped. This is why almost every gym you're going to go to has music blasting through the speakers to get gym goers excited and pumped for their workout. And to really magnify the effects and really give you that push you want in the gym, you want to magnify the effects of this by having that bass right up in your ear. In other words, you always want to carry headphones when you go to the gym. My personal favorites and the ones that I recommend to you guys are these Raycons E50s. Now these bad boys, I showed them to you before. These are from our sponsor and I've talked about just how amazing these headphones are and it's exactly what you need when you're hitting the gym. The beauty about these Raycons is that they're truly wireless. There's no wires here whatsoever. Everything's via Bluetooth and since they're super small, they're pretty much discreet. Nobody can tell that you actually have headphones in. This makes it perfect when you're in the gym because they're not obtrusive. You won't have wires and cables anywhere so you really can get the pump and you really can get in to it whether you're doing a hit program maybe you're running cardio or you're just deadlifting or bench pressing some weight the point is these headphones will give you the pump and the bass you want in your ears these were started by celebrity ray j and other celebrities hype about these all the time like snoop dogg now snoop dogg as you know he's a famous rapper he's all into music so when you have celebrities like this endorse a headphone you know it produces good sound now the cool thing about these raycons is that you can make them customizable to you they come in various colors so you can find something that suits your personality and your style and like I said since these go straight into your ear the unique design that these Raycons have is that they pretty much go inside the form of your ear to the point that it kind of just hugs your ear canal and these suckers will not fall out no matter how much you jump you squat or you sweat that's why these Bluetooth headphones are the perfect ones for the gym not to mention they're super affordable if you go and buy Bluetooth headphones you're gonna easily spend over a hundred bucks these are well under a hundred bucks and to make things even sweeter, there's a 20% discount code. If you guys want to check out these Raycon headphones, there's going to be a link down below with that 20% discount that's going to make these already affordable headphones a complete steal. Number three, you're wearing the wrong clothes to the gym. There is certain clothes that manufacturers make specifically so you could perform better in the gym. This is why it's called performance clothing. Not to mention that you, when you wear regular clothes to the gym, it ends up getting drenched and sweaty and wet to the point that it again makes it uncomfortable and most people just stop working out because of the discomfort. You need to make sure that your workout's always optimized and wear clothing that's specifically designed for the gym to ensure you're putting as much effort as possible. Number four, you're still eating like an animal. Oh, I hit the gym today so I can eat a little bit more. Nobody, you should be eating less if you're trying to lose weight. In case you didn't know what you put into your mouth, your diet is the most important thing when it comes to your body and your health the gym comes second to that so if you don't clean up your diet and cut out some of those empty sugars and your fats and lower your caloric intake you're never gonna lose weight no matter how much you hit the gym number five you're just doing cardio. Just running will never burn as many calories as actually lifting weights. When you're tearing your muscle and your muscle is repairing itself after you hit the gym, this is something called the afterburn effect. That process itself when the body's kind of like repairing itself, that's burning calories as well. So basically what it means, you're not only gonna burn calories as you're working out, you're also gonna burn calories 
post workout. That's just a more efficient way to lose fat while equally gaining some muscle and structuring your body. So make sure you're not just doing cardio. And finally, number six, you are program hopping. There are so many dudes that go into the gym with zero structure and follow this same footprint where they just go in and do the things that they love. You can't neglect every other part of your body because it's just as important at helping you burn that fat. Not to mention, this goes directly against the concept of progressive overload. Since you're not following one single training style long enough for you to actually advance in it and progressively overload and become better at it. So make sure before you hit the gym, you actually have a workout plan, a structure. You can find millions of them online and here on YouTube. And that's basically it for today's video, guys. Those are six reasons why you're still going to the gym but aren't seeing any results. If you guys liked this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Raycon. If you guys want to check out these headphones at a crazy price, they're going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.